none of the materials that we picked up weighed anything. Looks like it was weightless. You couldn't feel that you had anything in your hands. I found one piece of metal, what looked like metal anyway. It was not flexible, but it was as, as thin as a fall of a pack of cigarettes. It was that thin. One of my boys told me, he said, there's something unusual here. He said, uh, I tried to make a dent in this metal. And he said, you can't bend it. You can't make a mark on it. He says, I took a sledgehammer and, and whammed it. I put it on the ground and whammed it. And the, sledge, <laughs> the sledgehammer bounced off of it. He told me not to say anything. He says, I'll handle it from now on. And that's exactly what he did. When he came out, he said, he told uh, the press that was there, he said, uh, that was nothing but a weather balloon, crashed weather balloon. It was definitely not a weather balloon. And uh, it was an aircraft. So what it could have been, I wouldn't know. I still don't know. They took pictures, of course. They had a whole flock of microphones there. They wanted me to, to they wanted some comments from me, but I wasn't at liberty to do that. So all I could do is keep my mouth shut. And General Ramey is the one who discussed or uh, told the, the, the newspapers, I mean the newsmen, what it was and to forget about it. It was nothing more than a weather observation balloon. Of course, which we, bo we both knew differently. We left uh, Roswell perhaps around 3.30 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon. As you can see, it's flat. It is very difficult. In fact, uh, with the just verbal directions, uh, we know where to found it. We had to follow the rancher out there. The following morning, we went out to the site where the crash was. And uh, what I saw, I couldn't believe there was so much of it. It was scattered over such a vast area. So we proceeded to pick up as much of the debris as we could, loaded in the wagon. We filled that up. It took us a good part of the day to do that because uh, there's such small fragments that we had to do a lot of picking. We found a piece of metal uh, about a far a foot and a half to two feet wide and about, about two or three feet long. Felt like you had nothing in your hands. It wasn't any thicker than the foil out of a pack of cigarettes. But the, the thing about it that got me is that you couldn't even bend it. You couldn't bend it. Even with a sledgehammer would bounce off of it. So, I knew that I had never seen anything like that before. And as of, as of now, I don't know what it was. It was not anything from this earth that I'm quite sure of. Because I was being an intelligence officer, I was familiar with just about every, all materials used in aircraft and in our air travel. This was nothing like that. It could not be. It could not have been.